All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? So I know a lot of people are reporting on a lot with Takashi 69 Look, the dude name is Clicks. It's the reality situation. The dude, it's a slow news month and in hip hop and, and Takashi 69 is the biggest story by far. But I'm gonna be honest, no matter when this happened, this would be the biggest story in news because this kid's name holds so much weight with the youth. But the fact that this dude has the, the most pull with the youth and it's a slow news month. People are talking about Takashi 69 a lot. But I'm gonna be honest, when I read this, this actually shocked the hell out of me. All right, so let's go back about a week and some change ago. Takashi 69 randomly does a Breakfast Club interview. All right, now to be fair to Takashi, he did have an album dropping out the next week over, but typically when people do media runs they want to get it to as close to the album as possible he randomly did a breakfast club interview let's make it clear to the breakfast club is the biggest urban uh spot in our culture for interviews the reality of the situation obviously this dude has something he wanted to get off his chest and he wanted to reach the most amount of people as possible takashi 69 has the Breakfast Club's biggest interview in the history of their program already. So he knew whatever he needed to get off his chest, he could do it on this very big platform that the Breakfast Club has. In that interview, remember, Takashi 69 went in that bad boy and denounced his set. He denounced his set. Now, he didn't specifically name people that he wasn't rocking with, but he denounced his set. And a lot of people believe that one of the people he uh, wanted to disassociate himself with was also shoddy his manager that we've seen these dudes go to bat for each other shoddy has been in takashi six six nine's corner since he's hit the mainstream realm he's always say i'm taking up for my young bull um he ain't gonna let nobody play his young bull he's 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 protecting his young bull from all the enemies of the industry and the street dudes that's trying to bully him and make him check in all these places so shoddy has always been around uh for takashi's claim to fame right and it looked like that was one of the people that takashi trusted one of the few people that he knew he could trust now takashi said he believed people were stealing money from him all around him he fired all his 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 agents his management he said he wasn't working with anybody he said he ain't booking shows right now he said he don't got no tour coming up he said he ain't working with anybody so i put one and one together he said you don't got a manager it looks like Shoddy was acting as a, a, I'm not going to say a role manager, but just like a, a, a manager of some sort for him, maybe with no paperwork, right? And then also it looks like uh, Shoddy was helping them book shows. A lot of people believe that Takashi 69 wasn't excluding Shoddy when he said he's cutting everybody off. Now, there are there's a small portion of people who believe maybe Shoddy and company knew the feds were watching them and they wanted Takashi to go up to the Breakfast Club interview, uh, to do the Breakfast Club to save face and try to uh, say, yo, you have no affiliation with the nine trade gang, you know, just to kind of keep him out of the trouble. Maybe they didn't know what the feds had on him. Who knows? Maybe Shadi and Takashi have planned this together. But I wanted to give you that bit of backstory before we get into some very startling details that I read about this case. All right, so the FBI is cleaning house and they're li looking into all the information on all these co-defendants, Takashi and all his co-defendants, Shoddy and company, they're, they're going into all these guys, mail murder, all these guys. Now, one thing that they've made uh, in the public do domain is the money that these guys have in their bank accounts. Takashi, $1.7 million. And they also told the amount that Shoddy, the former manager of Takashi 69 had in his bank account, and apparently it was about 60 grand in his checkings account. Now, the feds have said, yo, we've been following y'all for quite some time. Shoddy, we know you got more than 60K in your bank account. Right? That's unfathomable to believe you've been around this premier artist with the money he's made. You being an agent, those numbers don't balance out. They believe that Shoddy has. 2.2 million dollars hidden somewhere why that number specifically apparently takashi 69 right before and this was one of the things that made takashi fire everybody and like say i don't trust anyone apparently right before takashi fired everyone 
he was talking to a promoter that was helping booking them dates for his tour. Now, somehow, some way along the lines, the promoter and Takashi got to talking, and the promoter was like, I'm going to just tell you the amount of money that I've already paid your people for this tour. I know they handle your back end business and all that, but I'm going to tell you straight up and down, we've already given you guys $2.5 million. All right. That was apparently the first time Takashi was made aware of that information. He's like, $2.5 million? Shadi only gave me 300 grand. So that's how the feds believe Shadi has $2.2 million hidden in cash somewhere uh, around uh, somewhere. All right, this dude's got that hidden somewhere, according to the feds. Now, on my platform, we don't like getting in niggas' pockets too often, but this is very valuable information, right? As all these men face a minimum of 35 years in prison, Mel Murder Ish and Crippy, they're out there saying that they don't have enough money for legal fees right now, all right? They're saying that they don't have enough money for legal fees, and Shoddy is close to saying he don't got enough money uh, for legal fees, all right? He's saying, I only got 60 grand in my bank account. When you're facing 35 years in a racketeering charge, and the magnitude of this case, you're gonna need more. If you're really trying to fight this thing, you're gonna need some hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, all right? And with them not being able to make money with Takashi's accounts, accounts, all of their accounts are being frozen right now. And according to sources close to the case, and you know, talking to these guys day in and day out as they are behind bars, no one knows who to believe right now. Apparently Takashi is, he don't know who to trust between any of those guys and Maybe Shoddy and Mel Murder were, or, or other, some of the other guys were under the table having deals made, uh, you know, with Takashi not knowing, or maybe Takashi and Shoddy are on the same page. It's all in the air right now. It's all iffy. And again, these dudes are facing a minimum of 30 to 35 years in prison. You're going to need some money, all right? So they're going to have to come up with some money somehow some way to fight these cases because a, a couple of these co-defenders are on the verge of having to get public defenders right now that's how bad it is and um yeah this is not a, a very uh, this, this is not a very good situation for takashi to be behind bars and i know he got moved but uh there are 44 members behind bars uh that are part of the nine trade bloods gang in various prisons so they're active and since Sakashi denounced his set we don't know who's mad at who we don't know who thinks who stole from who and by the way this nigga shoddy is crazy for real all right this really happened today in the courtroom as shoddy and all of the other co-defendants were leaving and Takashi was present as well in this he sat away from the other co-defendants shoddy looked the judge in the eye as the court was in in the day and told that judge straight up in his face we don't fold we don't bend we don't break it's Treyway. this nigga is crazy for real bro i i, I don't understand that nigga said we don't bend we don't fold we don't bend we don't break it's Treyway. thank y'all so much for the time love and support i don't take it for granted Yo, this is a movie this is a this is a a very poorly written movie thank y'all so much for the time love support i don't take it for granted salute i'm out i came from nothing but i want everything god has for me i interview celebrities i talk sports i still represent the culture hey, God, the kids, they who are now tuned in tuned in yo we locked in right now mr telefair mr telefair mr telefair mr telefair shout out to mr telefair watching mr telefair tv mr telefair tv here with the Triple B's, you can't do nothing but win.